Are you ready for your next challenge? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you will create a glamorous garment for a A-list celebrity. Designers, Alicia Cuthbert. Oh. What I like to do is design for celebrities, so to be able to dress someone like Alicia is huge. I think she's smoking hot. I think she's really, really, really good looking. She's been in The Girl Next Door, House of Wax, she's on 24, and Popular Mechanics for Kids, which back in the day, totally watched it. <laughs> Hello, designers! Hi. As you know, I am a Canadian girl but I do live in Hollywood, and I was hoping for this challenge that you would design something for me that I could wear a glam outfit for a big night on the town. Alicia will meet you back at the mansion where you will get to know more about her and her style. Good luck, designers. Bye. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Major celebrity just chilling with some homies in the house. That's pretty dope. Alicia has a love for fashion, and you need to know what that love is. Let's start the party now. <laughs> I know I'm wearing a lot of black right now, but I do like color. And, you know, I love blue. My eyes are blue. I like, I like wearing blue. It's very important for the designer to listen to a client and what they have to say, because in the end, they're the one who's going to wear your outfit. And we decided to break up into smaller groups and just have a little bit more private time. If you wanted to hide a body part, what would that be? If, if I'm showing a lot of upper body, I tend not to want to show the lower half of right. my body. You know, I kind of keep that as a rule. It's going to be classy, not trashy. Exactly. Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Being in the bottom two, it was, it was really intense and really scary. Coming into this challenge, I'm really excited. You're ready to go. You're like, like let's get designed. <laughs> Hi, sunshine. Hi. I think it's my time to steal you away. Hi. I'm going to take you to the living room. Okay. All right. Are you single? Oh, <laughs> my God. This is about fashion. No, no, yeah, no, well, no, are you I'm looking to pick up a, a guy? <laughs> Not like in that sense, but it's funny, you know. Look, you know, it's, I don't dress Not to pick funny. up, but I do dress to look very nice. Okay. So it's got to like be that. tasteful, right? You don't, don't want to pull a Britney. No, don't want to pull a Britney. <laughs> It was sort of like a free-for-all, like trying to get her attention. We need you to come with away. me. Okay, let me grab my purse and my drink. Okay. <laughs> I need these. <laughs> Upstairs. I'd like to go somewhere private with you. <laughs> I think she thought I wanted to make out with her or something, because she, she looked kind of reluctant. She was like, why is this girl taking me upstairs? I just wanted to ask her some questions about the dress. Okay, 52 questions. Let's mm -hmm. go. I like sharp looks, you know? I, yeah, I like... Like fitted, powerful? Powerful women. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Are you more into cute or like femme fatale? Probably femme fatale, yeah. Femme I think fatale. I think uh, girly can look a little... No one takes you seriously? Promy. I was a little nervous in the beginning because I was like, I don't really know anything about this girl. Very nice to meet you. I, I've never dressed a celebrity before, but like, I, I would love to. Party on and have fun! Your challenge was to create a glam outfit for Hollywood it girl, Alicia Cuthbert. Now let's say hello to our judges. First, Bustle Clothing Creative Director, Sean Hewson. Next, Editor-in-Chief from El Canada, Rita Silvan. And of course, your muse, Alicia Cuthbert. Now, let's start the show. Ada Jacke, you have immunity, but we still have questions. Tell me about your outfit. Um, well, I decided to create a new age, glamorous Hollywood outfit for Alicia. Um, I wanted to create something that could help her stand out, not be a wallflower. Rita, what do you think? You mentioned that this is a dress that would stand out. It would be photographed, but it would end up in those paparazzi pages. Uh, what was she thinking? I decided to just take a chance because... Because you were having immunity, unity and yeah, you're taking so advantage of it? Uh, I wanted uh, to see how far I could push it. Uh, and... Okay, hold on. Just because you have immunity, mm -hmm. you really should not have taken a risk on Alicia. It's not 
really right of you to do that. Sunny. Having hung out with Alicia, she spoke about structure and color that would bring out her eyes. I think it's beautifully made. Uh, when it came down the runway, I thought, wow, that that's ready to wear. Sunny, when I saw this dress come down the runway, I immediately thought of Alicia, actually. I thought, <laughs> this is a dress that would look so wonderful on her. Uh, I love the little starburst detailing. It's very subtle, but it's very pretty. Thank you. Jeff. In meeting with Alicia, I realized that we seem to be very much on the same page. She liked the classics with a little bit of an edge and fit, which is something I'm a very, uh, stickler for. How do you feel about the fit? Since you mentioned fit, how do you feel about the fit, in particular through the uh, bodice? In order to do the dress the way I wanted to do it, I had to sort of construct the entire thing, leaving very little room for alteration. Seeing it come down the runway felt a little sad, almost. It is messy, as you're trying to make it edgy with all that falling off. It looks like somebody who started drunk to start with, and half of your straps are already falling off. Jason. I want to go for an open back detail because I think it's really classy. The dress is an easy just pullover dress. Um, and it's uh, raw silk, high quality, like the Muse. When I came down the runway, I was very impressed. It's built beautifully, um, very regal in the front. I There's so much about this I really, really like. Uh, I think this is fashionable. I think it's well executed. And I think it's great for Alicia. I think you had a eureka moment. From what you showed me last time, <laughs> this is fashion. Brandon, tell you? us about your design. Well, I got to meet Alicia. She has the most killer personality ever, so I figured I'd make her a fun, flirty dress that she'd stand out. I remember at the mansion you asked me, are you looking to pick up anybody um, <laughs> if you're going out? And I think this would definitely <laughs> scream. I'm looking for someone. This is like a paparazzi attack waiting to happen. I mean, it, it just it looks like a figure skating outfit to me. You have to listen to your client. I did, but I, I didn't make a mistake and make it too, I made it too short. But why did you make it too short? I just want to understand that. I'm going to move on. Margarita, tell us about your outfit. The whole idea behind it is um, Canadian actress goes and makes it in big city LA. I really tried to look at you and get a sense of your style. And the slit was adventurous. <laughs> there was a huge problem with the fabric. Um, it has a little bit of stretch in it. It's puckering at the back. I don't love the front. I, Alicia, I hope you wouldn't wear this. Thank you, designers. You can leave the runway while we decide who just doesn't measure up. Okay, judges, bring it on at the jacket. I think it was a mess. The top with the rags and the layers and then the tinfoil kind of skirt. But she's got immunity, right? So yeah, well, that's the she's problem. She's using it. She's taking advantage of that. Jeff. I just cringed when he said I really like to focus on fit. <laughs> I can't imagine how you could possibly wear a dress like that. It's very poorly constructed and very kind of sad. Jason, I thought when I saw that dress, you know what they say about once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> I thought that was a cute black dress. What did you think, Alicia? Out of all the little black dresses that I do have, that one would have been different. That's something I would definitely wear. Definitely. Sunny. It's kind of a no-brainer, you know, red carpet dress for a semi-casual kind of event. Because he kept it the silhouette simple. That exactly. was the key. I could put it on and be ready to go. I would wear that dress. Margarita. It was just very unpleasant to look at. It was very cheap and uh, not, not attractive, not sophisticated, not something that you, or in fact, anybody anyway. should be wearing. There's a movement in classing it up. Right. You know, no right. more whole dress. No. No more whole trends. No. Nobody wants to look like that anymore. Brandon, Rita, you've always have something to say. You have, you're speechless. Wow. This have rendered you finally speechless. Wow. <laughs> Nothing. Honestly, I saw it come out and I, I, was, I was trying so hard to keep it together. I mean, I, 
so far off. Not a lot of things makes me wince.